Welcome to the International Desk. I'm Linda Kincaid. We start with the release of a long-awaited report on doping in athletics. The details are damning and could have a profound impact on the future of Russian athletics. Recommendations include suspension from upcoming competitions and lifetime bans for some athletes. World Sports' Alex Thomas joins us now from London. Alex, such disturbing findings from this commission. Even they said it's worse than what they first thought. That's right, and has implications not just for athletics in Russia, Linda, but also for all sports globally. We know Interpol have already chipped in in the last hour to say they're going to increase the scope of any investigations globally. And we know as well that Dick Pounds, the chairman of the WADA Independent Commission, has been looking into findings from a German, or looking into allegations from a German TV documentary last December, and had quite a narrow remit, nonetheless has hinted at uh, some of the implications beyond the sport of athletics and beyond Russia as well, saying no reason to believe athletics is the only sport in Russia to have been affected. But the top line, as you say, Linda, is that this WADA Commission has accused Russian athletics of being of, of state-sponsored doping uh, was the phrase that he confirmed when uh, asked by it by journalists. The report says there's a deep rooted, deeply rooted culture of cheating. And as you say, five athletes and their coaches have had recommended lifetime bans. And also the recommendation, the very strong recommendation, is that Russia's Athletics Federation should be suspended immediately, casting a huge question mark over their participation in next year's Rio Olympic Games, Linda. And Alex, some have already made comparisons between this and the FIFA scandal. One of the co-authors of this report said in both cases there were allegations of money laundering and corruption, but in this instance the corruption actually affects those, the results of the competition. So what does that mean for the athletes that may have come second or third behind Russian athletes? Well, there's no doubt that one of the implications could well be going back and retesting samples. Athletics is one of those sports that has a blood passport system, which means that samples aren't just tested at the time and then thrown away. They are frozen and kept to be analysed later. For example, if new technology comes in uh, that can pick up drugs that were pre previously undetectable. Or in this case, as far as the Commission's report is concerned, it does talk about the London 2012 Olympics, seen as one of the most successful ever summer games. Uh, and actually run by Seb Coe, the current president of the IAAF, track and field's beleaguered governing body. And the report says that London 2012 was more or less sabotaged by allowing Russian athletes to compete when they should have been suspended because of doping. Russia finished fourth in the overall medals table, and there'll be plenty of athletes denied gold, silver or bronze by Russians who could yet get a medal, of course. Uh, it's a bittersweet moment when you receive a medal retrospectively instead of having the glory of standing on the podium and receiving the accolade of the crowd, Linda. And Alex, speaking of uh, the president, Sebastian Coe, he did actually call the outgoing president, Dayak, a spiritual leader when he resigned back in August. Uh, do you think he regrets those comments now, given the investigation and the findings today? We should find out in the next couple of hours, because he's due to speak to CNN, and we'll certainly put that question to him. Certainly the tone of Seb Coe's official tweets as IAAF president on Sunday, a few days after French authorities confirmed they had placed Lamine Diak under formal investigation, were very different to those comments earlier in the year uh, when he said that his sport was under attack from the media uh, after another German TV documentary by the same broadcaster had further allegations in August. Remember the one last December was one that prompted this uh, wider commission. There's huge pressure under Sebco, there's no doubt, to try and reform athletics. He says he is the man for the job. He succeeded Diak in the presidential election back in August. He has been backed by Dick Pound today, the chairman of WADA's independent commission, but at the same time, Pound did put pressure on Co and the IAAF to suspend Russian athletics. We know a day earlier, Co had said he's against doing that. Um, I think the suspicion is going to be that they will help Russia reform its anti-doping program with a view to maybe giving it a pass and, a, and allowing the athletes to compete at the Rio Olympics next year. OK, Alex Thomas in London, thank you for bringing us up to date with those findings. We're going to now look at the reaction in Moscow. Our Matthew Chance is standing by there. Matthew, this commission was formed back in December after a German TV uh, report found that 99% of athletes in Russia uh, had been accused of covering up doping. What is the reaction there? What are people saying? 
Uh, well, the reaction has been very muted so far. I mean, I, I think that people who have been watching this story unfold in Russia, uh, it, it doesn't come altogether unexpected because there was that documentary uh, almost a year ago on that German television channel, which, as you said, um, accused 99% uh, of Russian athletes from doping and also went on to accuse um, Russian officials of covering up that doping as well and being complicit in it. And so that's very much the sort of findings of this report by the World Dating uh, World Doping Agency uh, as well. There's been some reaction from the Russian uh, sports ministry. It's being quoted on Russian state media. Vitaly Mutko, who is the minister of sport here in Russia, uh, saying uh, this, and it's been translated from the Russian, that the, 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 the World Doping Agency Commission uh, has no right to dismiss anybody from further athletic uh, competitions. Remember, reminding that it's just a recommendation uh, that Russia be suspended from future competitions. There are only recommendation, recommendations, it says, given to us. The sports ministry here in Russia will issue a full statement uh, later on. Uh, and so, you know, nothing very uh, ex explanatory from the Russian uh, Ministry of Sport, but they're saying they'll... Um, They'll give us more details later on. But obviously, uh, this is an enormous story. Um, uh, Russia is, remember, an athletic superpower. Back in uh, the Olympics in London in 2012, it came second in the medal table after the United States as well. So it's a major power uh, when it comes to athletics and, and other sports as well. And so this recommendation from the World uh, Doping Agency will come as a major blow uh, to, to people in this country and to the athletes and, of course, to the government as well. That's a good point you make, that uh, these are just recommendations at this stage. We'll have to see what is implemented. Matthew Chance in Moscow, thank you very much. And we will have more on the Anti-Doping Agency's report in World Sport just in half an hour from now.